Okay, since there's no cheetah two videos showing how to do this, I basically jacked up both ends to make it semi level. Put chalk blocks under there. Make sure you got good jack stands. And then the next thing I did was undo the 7 16th on the fan shroud, which is right here and right here. And then this side, there's two 3 8 inch self tapping screws. Take those out and then I'll show you what the fans look like. Okay, and once you're underneath the mower, here's your filter. Don't tell what size it is, one and something. Here's your disengagement for the motors right there. And here is your drain valve, drain plug. If you're gonna have your oil coming out of. Once those purge nuts are loosened up, and then you fill it back up through the hydro tanks, which are up here. Caps off, there's one, there's two of them on the Cheetah, of course, because it's got everything. You can see mine is not quite black, but it's pretty dirty. Mine, 98 hours. Comes with 10 quarts of the oil. I have 5400s on mine. Two oil filters and the burn gaskets. About purging and bleeding and hopefully out the motor would be the only thing bleeding, not me. Guys, I successfully drained each filter. I used a seven one and three sixteenths, sorry, to get the filters off and it worked just fine. I did set the motor engagements up to disengage them. Got both filters changed, cleaned off. Now I'm up top putting the oil in. And I've got the purge valve, purge screw. It's just this little thing with the rubber on it. And it goes right down there. And the trick was to use one of those swivel sockets. You can see one bottle has already gone completely through. I'm going to put this here so I don't drop it like I usually do. This is what I used, 7 16 movable socket, and it gets under there without having to remove your tank. So when you remove the tank, it just moves barely because that little hose is only like 3 inches long under there. So okay, here's a quick tip. On bottle number 5, when you're pouring it in, it's going to start coming out of your purge valve of course that's what you're looking for you gotta be ready because it comes out there kind of quick you can see the, the level of mine i might have to fill it up a little bit but just get down there and put that screw in there and then stop all that oil from coming out i don't know if i'm gonna have to add some or not but there. it's not too bad but i did get some on the exterior but it's a lot more